Hey, what's up? This is Justin with wingsound.com. Let's say you got a mix where your panners, your faders, your EQ parameters are all over the place. I'm gonna show you a quick command to zero out all those parameters so you could start from scratch in Pro Tools 8. Let's say I wanna zero out these parameters instead of grabbing it and dragging it up, trying to get it to zero, unity gain, you know, it's gonna be a little hard to do. So to do it really fast, you can hold option and then click on the fader and it jumps right up to zero. You could do the same thing with panning as well. Right back to zero. Now let's say you want to do it to a selected track amount of tracks. So just hold command and then highlight those tracks. Then shift option and then click on the fader if you want to move the fader. And as you can see, everything went back. And you could do the same thing with panning and then they all go back to zero you can do the same thing with your plugins as well so here's my plugin and i want to send everything back to zero hold down option and then click the parameter that you want to send back to zero really fast you can zero out your plugins really easy so you know if you've been doing some work and you don't like it and you know you want to start from scratch you could just zero them out really fast and then you'll be able to get going again and you know do some more changes fix up your mix or whatever it is you know so another thing i want to show you is with the sends now let's say i'm using bus one two i could hold down option click the fader goes to unity really easy now let's say i want to view those um those parameters of that send you know i want to view my uh my fader my panner my mute and my pre-fader what you want to do is go to view go to sends a through e if those are the ones you're using and then choose the send that you're using in this case it's send a so now as you can see on my channel strip i have my bus one and two fader i can move around my panner as well my mute and my pre-fader so it gives me really easy access to make my little adjustments and then you could do the same thing with zeroing those out hold down option and then click on the fader or the panner and it goes back to zero now another thing i want to show you with the sends is let's say you want to send a send to just all of your tracks so what you could do is hold down option click your sends and then choose which one you want to use so three and four so as you can see option just holding down option and choosing that send sends it to all of my channels now let's say you want to do it to just a selected so select your tracks and then sh hold down shift option and then choose your bus and as you can see you just went to my selected tracks now let's say you want to send your buses ascending, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So for all of them, you just want to hold down option command, go to the bus, and then three and four. And as you can see, they're all ascending. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then let's say you want to send it to just a selected ascending. So hold down command, select those tracks, and then do shift option, command. Go to the bus and then choose three, three, four. And as you can see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to just the ones I had selected. So just some quick little tips there, you know, get you moving around and mixing real fast. You can always get in touch with Justin at WinkSound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at WinkSound.com.